Hi everyone, welcome back to Snail Mail Surprises. I'm Miss Julia and today we're going to be making some DIY stickers. For this project you will need your labels and then depending on how you would like to do your stickers you might want your watercolors, brush and cup. If you do this you'll need some water in your cup or you might want your colored pencil and pencil sharpener. You'll also want your scissors and I'm going to use some of my little envelopes to put my stickers in so that I can wrap them up really cute for when I send them to my friends. You can pause the video here and go gather your supplies. Now that you've had a chance to gather your supplies, I'm going to move a few things out of the way. But first, if you want to do some of your stickers as watercolor and some of them as colored pencil, or if you want to save some of them too for doing as labels to make it easier for you to mail your cards or postcards, what you can do is you can see where the labels are you can see where the individual labels are. So you can use your scissors and carefully cut on those lines and just cut out a few of your labels to do at a time and turn those into stickers or save them for using as labels. I'll do just these two. And I think everybody knows how to use watercolors. You put water in your cup, Take your brush, dip it in the water, rub, rub, rub on the color that you want, and then use it to paint onto your stickers. So I'm not going to show this part. I'll just show the colored pencils for making my stickers. But if you want to do watercolors, you can do your watercolors, let them dry, and then cut them out. So I'm actually going to cut mine into individual labels so that I can see what I'm doing a little bit better. So what I can do is take my colored pencils and open them and then use them to color designs and make my own stickers. I can draw whatever I think would be really cool to send somebody or whatever I think they might enjoy getting. So I've made two stickers here. One of them I could send to Miss Carrie because I wrote her name on it. This one I might choose to leave long and square because I did a lot of different things on this one. But this one I made into a rainbow and I could choose to cut it out and make it into a shaped sticker. So all I would do is cut around the outside of the shape that I made and you can cut as close or as far away as you would like. And now I have a rainbow shaped sticker. And if I want, I can open up one of my little envelopes and put my stickers inside as a fun surprise to send to Miss Carrie or one of my other friends. Well, I hope you enjoy making some stickers. And if you want, you can even decorate the little envelopes too. And if you would like to show off the stickers that you made or the little envelopes that you decorated and your grown up says it's okay, you can post a picture of it in the classroom. Otherwise, I hope your friends and family enjoy getting some DIY stickers. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!